Before we go to break here on Weekend Today, it's Science on Sunday. Here's meteorologist Brittany Beggs. Tim, so we've got a special guest here today. We have Dr. Christine Sellis. She's here representing, uh, she's owner and operator of Pure Genius. And we're talking about kind of lightning and electrical charges. And it's the time of year we've got storms. So she's gonna show us how positive and negative charged sure. ions develop. We have here our Van de Graaff generator and um, we call it the sector of death. And if we put it close by, it doesn't have to touch, but if you put it close by, it'll start making some electrical charges, um, which are similar to lightning you'll see in the sky. Um, you all probably don't have um, an awesome Van de Graaff generator at your home, but there's the things that we can do as parents to instill um, the wonder and excitement of science in our children. So if you all are having a party this weekend, we've got um, just a regular old styrofoam plate. Yeah, it's like a normal plate. Yep. And yeah. if you go ahead and try to hold it up on your hand, um, it will not, but if we just get a regular yeah. old rag, we could use our t-shirt, we could use a rag, wool socks, and you just go ahead and charge it up and rub it, rub it, rub it. So is this making friction? Well, it's actually charges? depositing particles, um, ch changing its electrical charge. And so if we go ahead and hold it like that, it'll stand up on our hand. Yeah, um, it's kind of, yeah. yeah. We can do the same thing. We have just a regular old plastic fork. Yep. Um, and if we really put it, doing much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we put it over top of our um, pepper here. It's regular table pepper. Can we get a shot, a close shot of this, maybe? Ooh, I'm getting <laughs> shot right there. Yeah, it's not doing. It's, it's you're putting a fork over pepper. Right. Yeah. So nothing's happening. But if we go ahead and take that, um, take that rag and just go ahead and charge it up. And again, you could use anything. You could use your t-shirt. Oh, okay. Um, so it doesn't have to be a specific type no, of cloth. No, just you can try all kinds of different. Okay. You can, you can rub it on you. Okay. All right. <laughs> and if we stick it over here, it'll start. Let me charge it up a little bit we more. We need more charge. It's kind. Of, we mentioned. We talked about. It's kind of warm in here, and it's it kind is. of humid. Very. So there's so many variables that if it works in one place, that's okay. It may work in a different environment. Right. You're and outside, and, and you go inside. this generator, some days it'll stand your hair up, you'll look like a human dandelion, and some days it doesn't work so great. So, so. depending on the day and where you are, it yes. makes a difference. Yes, yes, here we go. Let's see if it'll jump up. There it goes. So that pepper is just attracted to the different the charge. The pepper's jumping up. The pe that's, that's crazy. So the, we're talking about positive, negative charges, kind of how that's how the electricity develops. And that's the same thing with lightning. So that's why we wanted to talk about this. A lot of folks are out here for Memorial Day, pool parties, barbecues. That's why you want to get the WRCB weather app. And with the pool parties, that's why we thought plates, forks, great idea. You could do it at home. How can people get a hold? You do camps all summer long. All summer long. I'm a Pure Genius in Ringgold. And you can go to our website, which is www.puregenius.guru. Kids any age? Sure. Predominantly younger children, 5 to 12. So she does experiments all summer long. Kids can get involved. They sign up and they just do experiments and they get to get dirty and messy. Sure. And the idea of Pear Genius and is to get kids excited about the wonder of science with things that we have at our house. Awesome. Yeah. Dr. Christina Sellis from Pure Genius, thank you so much for thank being you. on. We'll be back right after the break.